Watch when you hang your clothes on. Oh, you're hanging, sorry. You don't hang them all the one way, do you? Don't snivel. It just makes it don't too much easier. Don't grumble, Laurie. I've got more than you now. They're back. That's not going. That one? That is not going. Why? It's beautiful. I hate it. Whatever happened to... But you ain't taking junk to a new place. No, I don't class it as junk. You do. Nolene and Laurie Donoghue. Laurie, one of these days I'll pack me bloody bags and I'm going out of here. Truly. That was 11 years ago. This is now. We have a slight problem. Laurie's taking all the junk. And half of it I don't want up there. The Donohers are uprooting. If you had your way, you'd leave every bloody thing. I thought you, you said I was going to a new start. You are, but... Well, new start means everything's new. No, no, it doesn't. Isn't it? No, it doesn't. Love them or loathe them. In the early 90s, Australia was fascinated with its first family. Long before Big Brother, Survivor and Backyard Blitz, there was Sylvania Waters, Australia's first reality TV series. That's one claim to fame that we could have, I suppose. Yeah, we, we were. It's been a, uh, been a lot since. I reckon we put Sylvania Waters on the map. Oh, I'm sure we did. Oh, indeed they did. It's like home and away gone mad. It's like home and away on drugs. <laughs> In the UK and at home. Waters, it's doing our international reputation no good whatsoever. Their weekly adventures of waterfront life it's down under had millions of viewers captivated. They became a tabloid sensation. We couldn't get enough. Right-hand side now, if you can see the house that featured in the series, Sylvania Waters, shown on television. A lot of memories in this room, weren't there? Oh, absolutely. Oh, my very word there was, yeah, yeah. This is where it all happened. <laughs> this was a soapy that had all those best neighbours' ingredients. Family drama. Was the sun? That's what I'm saying to you. I didn't say it for fun. Yeah. One no, of this, those I picked up this first. This is the one you had. So I picked up one of those first. A newborn baby. <laughs> and, of course... A wedding. <laughs> Filmed by British television, it was billed as a warts and all look at a typical Aussie family. They smoked, drank, and screamed at each other over and over again. For God's sake, he can have a bloody birthday. But now they're leaving. And there amongst the memories was the archival records of suburban Aussie life. You've never watched it? Never. What? The kids do, don't they? Yeah, the kids watch them. The children do, but never. I no. started to watch one one night. I watched the two, two or three um, of the you know, shorter ones, and uh, yeah. I was embarrassed. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. I did not realise we'd done something so stupid. The Donohers felt deceived by it all. They thought it was going to be like the Brady Bunch. Only the good bits shown. We felt that the, the, the bit that was used well, wasn't in our best interest. It was never going to be shown here. It was going to the UK. That's what they told you? Yeah. Our surnames would never be given. Our street address would never be given. That must have yeah. shattered you well, to we find had two out and that... a half years of solid busloads of English people knocking on the door. Can we, can we just have a photo behind the bar of you? Letters. I still get letters today. We got a letter the other day from some Our lady in Sweden. It's full. The guy that we do some work with, he's just been in Nigeria. It's been shown in Nigeria at the moment of all places. <laughs> I tell you what, it's been a long 15 minutes of fame, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, yes. Very oh yeah. yes. The fame or infamy hasn't lost them any friends. Tonight, they've come to say goodbye. We can't wait for him to go. <laughs> There's Alan, their comical next door neighbour. Be honest with me. Yep. You're going to miss him? I don't even like him. <laughs> I'd just like to say, you took a tiny little enclave of a group of people that lived a lovely lifestyle, nice and quiet, and turned it into a place that uh, everybody knew us. Thank you for your friendship. I mean, she runs a business. She does a lot of things for a lot of people. But that is not how you saw Nolan on that show. I rest my case. see me with a drink in my hand tonight. No way. And not a fag. Not a fag. When did you get those up? I didn't. About two hours ago. When are you leaving? <laughs> but there were many other occasions when the camera did manage to capture the matriarch when her guard was down. How did we get so <laughs> Here is a lady who enjoys a good time. And to quote her, it's no one else's bloody business. I can drink whatever I like in my house. Do you have any regrets? I did for about seven years, yes. 
But that's not what she told us then. There's no regrets. Time has mellowed them somewhat, and letting everyone inside your home had many a drawback. These days they're smarter. They ask and get a filming fee, which we agreed to. But then this isn't their home for much longer. Hold on a second, there's white shoes. Yeah, they're they're nice. Nice. Hold on a second. I know where you're going. Flurry shoes. That's a hint for where they're going. The tears, tantrums and turmoil have gone. It's time to leave the home, a family, a nation, a world has lived it. It's too sad. And anyway. Anyway, bigger and better things, Pat. 16 years. Yeah. So a big part of our life. Yep. We're going to miss it, but that'll all be over a couple of weeks, so we won't know ourselves. Hi, Sydney. Been good to know you. Guess who's come to stay? Oh no! <coughs> you talk about the bank. The Donahers have arrived. Jesus, it's a long time since I've done that. On the Gold Coast. Look at that. Look at that. Come upstairs, Laurie. <laughs> bit of all right? Oh yes, bit of all right. Think you'll be comfortable here? I think so. It's where we'll have our little port of the night. Yes, they've loaded up the truck and they've moved to Sovereign Island. Swimming pools, movie stars. Love it, don't you? Aren't you in your heart? Oh, my God. There's a scene from Gone with the Wind here, oh, isn't it? It is. It is. It's beautiful. Is it lovely? You love it here? Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's magnificent so far. Yeah, it is. We've found nothing wrong yet. Absolutely gorgeous. Mind you, we've only been here for a few hours, but... You're not going to miss Sylvania Waters? No. No. Yeah. No. This is a new adventure, isn't it? Yep. It's a, is it retirement? Semi oh, semi-retirement. Semi-retirement, yes. Yeah. 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 Another 12 months. Yep. Yeah. Full retirement, but yeah. uh, at the moment, semi-retirement. Yes. Okay. Yep. What about the neighbours? You had a chance on, all, on the visits you've had up here to see? Had a chance to see them? Not really, but frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Down at the local shopping centre, the neighbours are looking forward to their famous southerners. There's a tab only about uh, 400 metres, and Lori likes a tab. Um, they have Kino there as well. Nolly likes the Kino, and they'll be right at home here. Well, that's going to liven up Sovereign Island, isn't it? <coughs> oh, it's already started. I just said to the truck driver, you can have a lot of things that are rejected. It means take them back to the truck and dispose of them on the side of the road. Laurie has packed things he shouldn't have. Poor man, he looked at me and I said, you take that right back to the truck. You can't take stuff back. Let's go back. They're only going one way, they're not taking... That's why I should have been there supervising. Put it back in the rejects block. Give Look it out, here. Watch your back. Give it here. Big sock. Get in there. Give, Give me the damn right. So what of the rest of the family? Unless you shampoo your hair. I, I told shampooed. you. I washed it twice. I'm Remember Michael, the teenager struggling with puberty? Michael and Sarah are married and they've got a baby. Or having a baby. In February. So they're thrilled, aren't they? Yes. They live in Sydney. My Paul and Kane. Well, Kane's nearly as tall as I. He's 11 and a half. He was born on the show, wasn't you he? You were so, yes. He's a beautiful child. Mum and Dad are separated? Yes. Yeah. Right back at the last stages, I think, of the show, wasn't we? Yeah. Making a vet, they're still, uh, yeah, Mick's still uh, got his business up at Hurstville. He's, um, he's been quite successful. He's had an excavation business and the, and the, uh, the repair shop, mechanical repairs. They, He's flat out. They're flat out doing their own thing. They've got a family to look at. And like all the kids, no more time or inclination to be TV stars. What are their thoughts on the show? At yeah, 11 uh, years I old. I think they enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think the kids it. probably enjoyed it more than what we did. Yeah, yeah, because it was a bit of a... Well, they didn't hound them, did they? No, that's right. They, they didn't It was more, more Nolan more than anyone, I think. Um, me to a small extent, but mostly Nolan. And the, and the kids, well, they virtually uh, got through it unscathed. Yes, I had heard of Sylvania Waters. I had watched it probably once, and that was kind of enough, really. 
Now, as irony would have it, just up the road from the new Donnerhur abode, the same British television company is filming the daily lives of another family. This time, their poms have migrated down under. But you want some ham, Louis? Why do people punish themselves like this? There's a lot of secrets I wouldn't want to catch it on camera. <laughs> and we want, haven't told you. I wouldn't want Debbie to catch them either. <laughs> Give them time. Meanwhile, back on Sovereign Island. Excuse me, how did this get here? How did they arrive up here? Well, you bought them, so I sent them. You throw them out, you've got to buy more. Nolene filled several reject boxes. Oh, yes. Yeah, don't lose that. That's, that's got that, sentimental value. He, he won that at Luna Park in yeah, 1975. Got sentimental value. Nolene, can I get you a nice bourbon? What do you reckon? Finally, common ground. Okay. Just a little one? Just, just the one. Just the one. Just the one. There you go, my dear. Let me throw up a scenario. A television station's got a new series and it's called Sovereign Island. And you're the stars, and this time there's big money in it. You interested? I don't know that I'd ever do it again. I don't think, I don't think we would, it. not this stage of our life. No. I, I think if it was put to us, I, I think we'd say no. I look out there, and it's a bit like Sylvania Waters, isn't it? Very similar, very similar, only it's, um, it's new. It's brand new, everything's new, the house is new, and the canals are all new. Uh, new people, new friends, uh, new excitement in our life, so we're looking forward to it. Here's to our new life. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. For sure. Don't cry. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> you should cry. You're sloppy. <laughs> Can't you?